What's up? It's your boy Sturdy, and I'm here for another Sturdy review. And the movie that I'm getting ready to review for you is Hunt Her, Kill Her. Now, so this movie is basically it's a it's a mother who works in a warehouse, a French warehouse to be exact. And they didn't say, but from like the way they were kind of showing it and the way the one guy was showing her around the facility and like what to do with this, that, and the third, which I'm, I'm assuming this is her first day on the job. And, you know, so yeah, so she's, I don't know if it's that or not, or maybe she's just training for this. I, not important, doesn't matter. So anyway, you know, she gets the run around, she gets shown, you know, what she needs to do for the night. And what's supposed to happen there tonight and all that good stuff. And so, yeah, you know, after the guy leaves, you know, it just shows her kind of going through, doing what she's supposed to be doing, locking up, cleaning up. And she hears some sounds. I know that. She acts, as a matter of fact, what happens first is, yeah, she does hear some noise, but she takes the trash out and she sees a truck in the parking lot, a pickup truck in the parking lot. As she's taking the garbage out, she throws the garbage in the, you know, in the dumpster, goes back in, closes the door, and she like cracks it open to look at the truck. Excuse me. And there was nobody sitting in the truck. Like she's just staring. There was no one sitting in the truck. So she goes, you know, closes the door back up, locks it up, and goes back to work. Does her thing. And then a little while later, she hears a loud knock at the door. A loud and it's just boom, 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 just bang, 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 bang. And, you know, she keeps, she's kind of like listening around, listening around. And she finally goes and looks. She goes to check out where the, you know, where the door is coming from, which door it's coming from. And there's a delivery, right? And again, mind you, custodian working overnight. And for those of you who've worked in those type of jobs, so to speak, or just even in a warehouse to where, you know, things come and go. You're either sending things out or sending things in. There's a certain time with certain places where, that shit shut down. Like once the place is closed, that shit shut down. <laughs> and that's what it was for this. So there's not going to be any deliveries overnight, no matter what the case is. If anything, like say if a truck breaks down or whatever the case may be. And if it's after a certain time and they contact you, Hey, we'll just bring it tomorrow morning. Boom. That's not what happens. So anyway, the guy knocks on the door. Hey, got a delivery. Can you leave it at the door? No. Um, what they say? He said no because we need a signature. Okay. And instead of, you know, no, that now's not the time. Blah 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 blah. Bring it back tomorrow because the guy also asked if, I believe like two people were there at first. He named people by, he named two people, and she was like, no, they're not here. And then she was like, nobody's here basically, which was just a dumb thing to say. And this is for anybody, man or woman, child, whatever you identify as. In a situation like that, you know, people are here, whatever the case may be. Yes, there's people here. That's one. Two, she shouldn't have answered that damn door at all. <laughs> but movies got a movie, of course. The story has to go on. But that was just like, nah, like I'm not entering that shit. I don't even care about this job that much. I don't give a damn about this delivery. That shouldn't be coming this damn late. Come back tomorrow. So anyway, she um she opens the door. The guy hands her the box after he asks her the questions and all that, like who's there. And she basically tells him nobody's there. So he tosses the box or gives her the box and then leaves. And as he's getting ready to leave, she's like, I thought you needed a signature. He's like, no, you're good. She's like, okay. She closes the door. She thinks nothing of it. Closes the door, locks it, puts the box on the desk, goes back to work. Excuse me. And then, of course, she starts hearing more noises and all this other stuff. And the guys get in there. I believe there was one, two, three. There's either four or five of them chasing around this, you know, going around this big ass warehouse trying to find her. And she sees them coming in with masks on. Oh, really quick, just to back it up real quick. So the guy earlier in the movie that was like showing her around the training and all that stuff, he told, he did tell her. And I'm sure they, this was in the film, maybe to throw us off. I'm not 100% sure. Well, yeah, I'm going to say it was kind of make you feel like. Just let me say what I was going to say. So the guy tells her, that, again, the guy was training her earlier about how, you know, there was a warehouse not too far from here down the road or whatever. 
that got broken into, that got robbed. So please make sure you lock up, lock everything up, lock all the doors. Which, come to think of it, I don't understand why when he's telling her to do this because he's getting ready to leave. He's getting ready to leave, and it's just those two there left, right? And yes, she is starting to lock up as he's saying this. Because and here's another funny thing, real quick. He was like, you know, no smoking inside as he's smoking a cigarette. Inside, yes, he's at the door, but he's inside. He flicks his cigarette out when she goes to close the door, which he could have closed himself and locked it. But it that really quick, just throw that out there real quick, throw that away. He could have held her close on the doors and lock them. That's one. Besides the point. Besides the point. Besides the point. Or he could have closed and locked all the damn doors before she even got there, besides the one that he knew she was going to be coming in. But then again, there was a mix up in the beginning because she's waiting by the time clock and he was like waiting in the warehouse for her. So, yeah, it was her first night going back to what I was saying a few minutes ago. Waiting in the warehouse for. Yeah, they connect, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But just to, just to jump in the break ins and the robberies. So I'm assuming, I'm thinking like when that happened, I'm sure she thought that that was what was going on until they started to go after her. She realized that they were after her, specifically her. Like, get that bitch, kill that bitch. I can't believe they did that to. I can't believe she did what she did to so and so, which is her ex, which was get away from him because, I mean, <laughs> you see from the movie, he's a fucking abusive fuck and he's not a good dude. And so, obviously, they're trying to hunt her and kill her. She left him, she took her daughter away, and he's trying to get his daughter back. He wants to see his daughter, he wants to be in his daughter, supposedly, supposedly, but he's going about it all fucking wrong. And, I mean, <sighs> It just goes bananas from there, though. Like once, once it starts picking up to where she has to like run and hide, and evade, and then defend herself, is when it really starts picking up. When she has to start killing, like she kills all of these dudes. She kills all of these dudes, and so many different ways, which is just cool. Just with shit around the warehouse, and of course with some weapons that they had. <laughs> And I'm just like, yeah, this is this is this is really getting, you know, it's it's getting fun, it's getting intense, it's getting bloody, it's getting gory. It was pretty damn gory. It was pretty damn gory. And if you guys know me, you know, slash is my number one thing, and I love gore and horror films. And I know this this is like a horror thriller. I guess you can uh, horror thriller invasion, and it was it was fun though. It was it kept you it kept your attention. It really kept your attention. I do recommend this movie. I will say that to you guys. I do think you guys should go check this movie out. I don't even want to give away the kills. I don't want to ruin that for you, so to speak, or spoil that for you, I should say. Not ruin, but spoil that. I know I do a spoiler show, but I want to save that for you guys. You guys just see how these kills are and see just... You get the basics of the story is what I'm giving you with this one. You got the story, and it's it's worth going to watch. It really is worth going to watch. And I mean, I would definitely watch, I would watch this one again. I would watch this one again. And you may see a, you may see, you, you know, I may, I may go through this one again and bring it to the pod and do like a full blown review with the guys. We'll see. But I will say this definitely something you guys should check out. It should definitely be on your radar. Wasn't one of the bigger name horror movies coming out, but it's definitely worth, it's definitely worth your attention. I feel. I feel if you like like that invasion type, and again, it's not a home invasion. This one, <laughs> I mean, technically, it's a it's a work invasion, it's a job invasion because they're invading her at work at her job. In a sense, they're invading this warehouse that she works at, and yeah, it's it's uh, honestly, I'm trying to think of my rating. <laughs> like I'm trying to think of what I want to rate this because I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say it was like a perfect movie. It was a ten or not? I don't even want to say perfect because I give tens of movies that aren't perfect, but it wasn't a ten for me. <sighs> but it, I just I really did it. I did have a good time with it though. I did have a good time with it. I did enjoy it. I enjoyed like I said the intense scenes and all that. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you something else. There's a part in the movie where her daughter ends up in the warehouse, right? And what happens is, I, I think it's her ex that's beating her up or whatever, like hitting her with something. That, he hit her in the back of her head with something. She hears and sees her daughter. And from that, she just got her strength and knocked him down, got away from him. 
and you know did what she had to do. As a matter of fact, here's what happened because he was he was hitting her like that, and then he locked her in a room. That's what it was. He locked the daughter in like the break room, and the mother, you know, that mama bear strength, like cocaine bear. If you guys seen cocaine bear, there's a part where you see the cubs and the asshole and the mama bear, and they just yeah. And with the mother in that, the human mother that went to go save her daughter. Just don't fuck with people and their kids, man. Don't do that. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. And both of them, Cocaine Bear, that dude ended up dead. And this, all the guys ended up dead. Leave mothers and their children alone. That's what you learn from those movies. That's why they're educational. But I just threw that in there because. But, um, with that, with all that being said, guys, I think I'm gonna give this movie a seven. This movie is a seven for me. Go check it out, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this sturdy review. Have a great night, day, even whenever you watch this. Have a great time after. Have a great time. But I'm getting out of here, guys. I'll see you in your nightmares. Peace out. Peace.